right guys hello so today I'm going to be talking about how to bleach your face and to get rid of facial hair without going through like the extreme measures of getting laser hair um, removal which is also really expensive um, so this is what I do um, probably about on a monthly basis I've been doing it for quite a few years now and it was really helpful for me and so I'm going to show it to you guys it's a three-step process starting with preconditioner which you put all over your face it kind of helps if you have sensitive skin with the burning and then you combine the activator and the bleach in a little tube like this which I'm going to go ahead and do so if you have kind of coarse hair kind of you know on your um, face in certain spots or if you kind of have peach fuzz all around that's darker and to you noticeable and bothers you then this might be a great solution for you I know that I started out by plucking my um, hairs when I was younger, which just kind of made them, you know, coarser and thicker. And so I was trying to find some other alternatives. I tried threading, but that kind of irritated my face. It just left it like with really bad rashes, so I didn't do that again. And then also the same thing with waxing, which I guess my face is just more sensitive than the rest of my body because... Um, I have waxed the, you know, other areas and been just fine. So anyways, I like to do this and then this gets pretty much all of the hairs on my face to be like a nice light blonde color. And for me, it just kind of blends it into my skin and you really can't see it. So it's really uh, beneficial to me. If you have a darker complexion, I'm not really sure if this would be that beneficial for you I think it would still make a difference as far as like making it look um, less noticeable but just like anything the darker and thicker your hair is the harder it is to kind of um, I guess get rid of it so like I said I'm gonna go in with this leave it on for however much time it says I think it's like 30 minutes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off so I'm basically gonna put a beard around my face so Let's see here. Let me just switch the camera around. Ugh. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out. Yeah, that's gross. Let's not do that. So this is obviously pre-shower. Um, I mean, maybe not obviously, but. So I take a little cotton swab and I go in with the pre-conditioner it's this and I'm just gonna put it all over my face um or the area that I'm going to put this treatment on you know I recently tried to get laser hair removal which I was supposed to go in for like six sessions or something like that and I did not like it let me know if you've had laser hair removal and you had a good experience with it if you especially if you had like thick hair um, on your face because I was really hoping it would work and like do some good but it was just really painful and I think it's also because I got it from Groupon so the facility that I went to I don't think was you know like a top notch but I don't know I'm willing to try it again so the area that I get it the most in is like these little spots right here and it's so weird to me it just it's almost like dimples like they just like pop up but is anybody else like that does anybody else get it in random places mm hmm one time I did this like all over my body because I don't know, I think I was going on a beach vacation or something like that. Oh, also, I kind of feel it right here because I was scratching um, my chin earlier or like rubbing off the little flakies. Um, so if you have like any kind of open wounds or anything like that, I would not put this on your skin. This is obviously um, pretty chemically. So if you're putting it on an open wound, it's going to hurt. Also, I mentioned that I'm going to be going into the shower right after this to wash this off. I would recommend that, but only if you use really gentle soap, because if you don't use gentle soap, then 
what will happen is because your skin is so it's going to be sensitive um, while you're washing this off and your pores are going to be opening up if you're using warm water you just don't want um, that to get into your skin especially if it's like hair conditioner or something like that because then it's just going to possibly lead to pimples because you're clogging up your pores with like oily stuff. So one thing I never really got facial hair was on my my um, mustache area, which I know a lot of people, I feel like that's more common maybe, but not for me. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's good. So I'm basically just going to let this sit for some time now and as you can see you still have like plenty left over so the thing about this is that you can't what's it called Ugh, just want to make sure I'm still in focus you can't reuse it so there's something with when you activate it like that's why they give it to you separate once you activate it, it kind of starts to do this weird thing oh I should put a timer on <laughs> wait <laughs> Timer for, let's also read the instructions. Anybody else do that when you just uh, never read the instructions? <laughs> it's not a good habit to have. Anybody watching that just is just starting out in life, read the instructions. Uh, do not use a few stuff for medical conditions. So it feels kind of tingly right now, which is normal for me. Uh, like I said, I have kind of sensitive skin. So most things kind of tend to irritate it um hmm but yeah hmm what else should i talk about i guess the reason i decided to post this video um this used to be something that would probably be really be used to be really embarrassing for me but recently i saw that my friend had a little bit of facial hair like just like little ones just like popping out and I was talking to her about it. Uh, 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 itchy. I was talking to her about it. And she was saying that was something that she was insecure about too. Ooh, she's actually a darker complexion. I should ask was she, if she's ever done something like this. I don't know. Let me know if you have darker complexion. Have you ever used hair bleach on your face? Because I do know that if I leave this on too long, it's temporary, but if I leave this on too long, it kind of makes it look like the pigmentation in my skin has like gone away a little bit, but then it goes away to like during the day. Like it never stains my skin, but I'm really not like, maybe it's just like taking like a layer off. I'm really not sure. But, um, anyways, so the fact that she had it and this is a, a friend that I think is like really, really pretty and really, she's, I've always thought of her as um, just a really naturally beautiful person and she had something that I considered to be an imperfection in myself. It really just made me realize that there's probably a lot of people out there that have this that they're insecure about they try to hide it constantly. Like nobody wants to talk about it for whatever reason. Um, so... You know, I kind of wish that when I was 13 or, oh God, I don't even know how old I was. Whenever I started plucking the hairs on my face because I didn't like the way they looked, I wish someone would have told me that you should just leave them alone, let them be, <laughs> because if you pluck them or if you shave them, which I never shaved my face, but I've heard there's a lot of gurus that have and they like regret it. And I've also heard a lot of gurus that it doesn't affect them. So which one is it? Like, does it only affect people that have dark hair? Mm. anyways let's see so it's kind of like a bubbly face mask where it will start to um like bubble up and it's also kind of burning my eyes because like i said it's a lot of chemicals so i only do this once a month because i don't like putting anything that's not plant-based on my skin but unfortunately i have not found a plant-based version again if you know of any let me know I like how they try to put aloe vera on here, like aloe vera infused formula. It helps soothe and condition. Yeah, sure. It's probably like 2% all of it, aloe vera. Read your labels, guys. Read your labels. Let's see what this one says. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, I really want to talk about this. Like, I really want to have, like, conversations down in the comments about what insecurities you had that you got past. Like, what was something you were so ashamed to talk about when you were younger? And then as you got older, you realized, like, oh, it's not a big deal. Or a lot of people have it. Or, like, I don't even care anymore if I'm the only one. Like, I'm just going to rock it. This is me. All right. So, I'm back. 
it's been a minute. Um, so I have showered, obviously washed my hair, made myself some coffee. Um, and the end results are, oh, obviously, I mean, obviously. Also, you can see that if you leave it for long enough, so this is kind of, I don't know if you remember two seconds ago when I showed you the empty container. If you let, just let it sit there, it'll kind of like bubble up. So it's the same thing that happens on your face. I left it on for like 10 to 15 minutes. I kind of just go off of the look of it. Once I kind of see that everything has changed from being a smooth surface to kind of puffing up, um, then I take it off. So about 10 to 15 minutes. And so you can see here that it is really, just ignore my eyebrows, it is really good for like getting like little peach fuzzes, which I have here. And then darker hair is like this. It doesn't really, oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me so much. <laughs> it doesn't really get them. So I just go in with the tweezer. And how to pick a tweezer. So these are probably the most commonly seen um, in like a drugstore and stuff. And the thing about these is that they're kind of a hit or miss for me. I really don't know. I can't tell like which, oh, this is trim. Well, wow, I thought I said, anyways. Um, trim. You can kind of see the grooves in it that they'll be gone on some of them. So some of them have like little grooves that help grab your hair and others are just completely flat. And then this one is the one that tends to work really good for me. I just asked the lady at the beauty store, I'm like, which is your favorite tweezer? And she picked this one. So there we go. And the stainless steel, this one actually doesn't have any grooves contrary to what I just said, but, um, there's something about it. Oh yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I take that back. If you look really closely, you can see little grooves. So look for one that has grooves or ask your local, well, I'm also for my eyebrows. <laughs> ask your local beauty person, which one's their favorite? So yeah, I kind of just go in and get the little strays. I try to not pluck any new ones, as in there are some that are, um, not really thick and dark yet so i want to be sure to avoid those if possible usually getting a magnifying mirror is a good choice um also you don't want to get tweezers that are on the cheaper side and don't work well because what will end up happening is that you'll just break your hair instead of actually plucking it out and so it will grow back a lot faster or it's not you know it's just that you'll you'll see it a lot faster it won't last as long your clear skin and by clear skin, I mean hairless skin, because, you know, you just cut the surface instead of cutting the whole thing. You know what I mean? And sometimes there are some that are really tricky. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Little chin hairs. Hmm. I did more laser hair removal treatments if it would do any good the thing that bothered me about it was that I felt like they were missing a lot of the spaces so again for me I haven't really concentrated right here my facial hair so they were kind of just going like all over and I feel like if it would just would have been like spot treatments almost it would have been a lot more beneficial to um, me personally and possibly you as well um, so, I don't know, I might go back to it, I might not. I think as long as it doesn't feel rough, like right there, then I'm good. I wonder what would be like, the masculine equivalent to this, like what's something guys, maybe like guys wanting chest hair. Or guys shaving early to try to get some. If that even works, I think it does. Tell me below if you've tried that. <laughs> mm, okay, so yeah, we're just about done here. So that is how I get rid of my facial hair. My skin is super bare and I just showered so it's all like irritated and um, splotchy. But again, this is something that you can find distracted okay this is something that you can find um at any drugstore here in uh the u.s i know for sure so cvs or walgreens has these 
It's Sally Hansen. Um, if there's another hair cream bleach that you're using that you like, let me know. I want to try out different ones. Um, I'm down to buy stuff online, so if there's one that's an uh, indie online brand only, um, I'm still down to get it. So yeah, let me know what you use. Let me know your techniques. In the next video, I think I'm going to try to wax my hair, so we're just going to have to experiment with that again. Oh, I don't want to hurt my face. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope to help you. I hope to make made you feel better about um, any insecurities that you may have. And also, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. And... Um... Yeah, that's it. Alright, don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Um, let me know what else you want to see or what else is like kind of like embarrassing that you'd want me to talk about. I'm down. I'm open. I'm basically just here sitting in my room talking to myself. So, world's my oyster. I will talk about anything that's on my mind. Alright. Once again, love you. Thank you. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>